What's going on, guys? I got another question and answer. This one here from a mid-size YouTuber. These come from DIS TV. And it's like um how you put a regular word down. DIS TV. Not none of that one word junk. DIS TV. Go subscribe and listen and look and wonder and ponder. Alright, the voice question is. Ah, you got a way to cross the legs right here, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Number one is, do I believe COVID is a population control that was set here? Yes, I do. I really do. I believe it was... Like normal, man-made, yes, yes, it was man-made, and I think it kind of got out of hand. Just like everything they create to do something, and it gets out of hand. Don't let nature take its course. Let's speed up and help nature out and the world. Let's just the world, you know what I'm saying? Do I think violence is the young person's fault or the parent fault I think it's both of you's fault because uh, a lot of times parents let kids get away with stuff that they shouldn't let them get away with uh, like like they grown when they're a certain age I mean you should be 18 when you start doing grown folk stuff but you pretty much grown. And then when they want to do grown folk stuff, I think they should be pew, booted out the nest. Just like the bullets outside that fly. Kick the ass out the nest. And it's the kid's fault because they're dumb and slow. Can't take the world on. So they just go and try to be like everybody else. And just do ignorant stuff. And talk ignorant. Because they're ignorant. Ignorant. They need the rod. A lot of people say, don't whip your kids, don't whip man. I got whipped when I was little. I turned out super great. I promise you I did. Uh, the thing is, when you were looking forward to get a whooping, you didn't want that, so you did a little better. But if you're going to go home and, and just get hollered at and it, phone wasn't in back in my days like cell phones if it was a lot of people be in trouble like today because if you take a child cell phone they will kill you but uh they would what did they take I didn't get punished so I don't remember I got whipped uh, I, I think you had Atari back then or something like that but uh Didn't matter because these days, I'll just say whip them. That ain't got nothing to do with this dude. Some would do. Yeah, you don't, just like the Bible say, do not spare the rod. Some of you people are religious that go by that, and some not. So don't spare the rod. Whip your kids. Uh, What made me do YouTube? No lie. Money. Money. That pea green. Nothing else. I saw that a certain YouTuber here and there was just doing YouTube. Nothing else. Like, wow. That's the life. And that's the life I would like to live. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else. It's because I'm lazy like that. Would I want to live anywhere else? And why? Uh, not really. Yeah. 
I'm happy where I'm at. Yes, like you said, I am happy with where I'm at. But I would love to live in Las Vegas. But there's some little quirks there. Just like there's some quirks here, you know. There's some everywhere, but... And people talk, it's so hot. I think it's like a a dry heat over there, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, here is humid, hot humid. Almost 100 degrees would kill northerners. Make them shrivel up and die. Just like they laugh at us about, oh, a little snow on the ground. Ha ha ha. Yeah, come on in this hot humidity and see how it do you. Las Vegas. Nevada. Am I superstitious? No, that's magic. Don't believe in that magic junk. Uh, cause I, I know a guy that's superstitious like that. I, I would I would purposely split a pole and other junk like that. I would purposely do it. And step on a crack. I ain't broke my mama back yet. You know what I'm saying? That person, he may have bad luck for splitting the pole. But I don't ever. I get my, you know, I don't have a good look all the time. Like, you know, it don't work like that for people. But I don't believe in that joke. That's foolish. What do I regret not doing growing up? Well... Much as I do not like military, I wish I would have joined the military once again. It's all about that P. Green because I would have retired by now. And I would have back then retired with something like sleep apnea. And that would have pound that check up real high. Yeah. Oh, uh, what do I like about Trey 5 7 Productions? That he would listen. That don't say he gonna always do what was right. But he listens. He listens. Why did I start a cooking channel? P Green. Because. I figured. That. People I didn't. I don't. I never knew how to cook. Never knew how to cook. Until back in the 90s, me and my wife had an argument. And she didn't cook that day. So now I'm out there like on a cruise ship with no motor. I'm stuck. I didn't want no eggs. I knew how to cook some scrambled eggs and pour up a good nice bowl of cereal. But my family cooked. So it's somewhere in my blood. All I had to do was tap into that and start. So pretty much I would find a recipe that I would want to cook. And I pretty much smell it out and look at it. That I could change it and make it mine by upgrading it or doing something different to it. And I've been able to do that. Uh, so I believe I can cook. I really do think I can cook. And th like I said, that ain't something that I just grew up doing. And I figured that sooner or later, it'll pay off on a good YouTube channel for cooking, you know. There's a, there's a good market out there for cooks on YouTube. It's a good market out there. And, uh, subliminally, did I say subliminally? I ain't mean to say subliminally. I'm not gonna be doing stuff like, like my other channel is, well, this is the channel. It's kind of slow to me. Very. So, uh, I would, I would rather do something that's gonna pay off than to sit there. And do something spinning my wheels. Because I ain't out here for you. And her. And him. You can learn something. You can take what you want to take out of what I'm saying. And learn something. But I am doing this for me and mine. So I'm not going to sit here and say. I'm trying to put the word out for people. This and that and that and this. Wanting to see. I want to do it for free. No. 
Nothing in this world is free. There's cost with everything. It may not be up front, but on the back end, it comes back for you. Everything has a bill that comes due. So, I started this channel, TNT Kitchen. TNT Kitchen. Because it was a genre that I see that can make some money. And I do know how to cook. And I do have some recipes under the belt, so do the wife, that we're not putting out there until we make some good monies. When we do that, we can put these other recipes out there. Now, there's some recipes people want to know how to do. And we would tell them how to do it, but we won't tell them the exact. Same way with Coca-Cola, you know. We would tell you, uh, for instance, there's these wraps she made. And it sounds straightforward, because of what they're called. It sounds straightforward, but you're not using that exact ingredient, what it sounds like. And my gumbo, I like it. You may not like it. It's not a roux style gumbo. It's a tomato based gumbo. I like that. Some people use shrimp shell and make it. It stink. I don't eat nothing that stink. No, 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 no. <laughs> no sun. So, I like the way mine smells. I like the way it tastes. That's it.